Cascader released the second iteration of the early access version with a lot of cool new features and improvements. Just to mention some, there is the graph editor, twin machine, spline IK and much more. For the full list check out the release notes, link in the description. And I wanted to try them out, so let's go over them in more details. Let's start with the graph editor. To open it, go to view, show and hide graph editor. On the left you can see the channels that are available for the selected controllers. The tools for working with the tangents are on the top and the timeline is on the bottom of the screen. You can drag around the point or you can use the controllers to manipulate the curves. Make sure to use one of the Bezier interpolation, otherwise you won't see the manipulators. The graph editor currently is in its alpha stage, so hopefully there will be a lot of improvements in the future. Currently you can only open it in the same window as Cascader, but they are planning to make it possible to open it in a separate window. With the Twin Machine you can efficiently create easings and is outs or overshoots without adding new keyframes. With a slider you can control how much closer should the pose on the selected frame or interval be to the previous or next frame. It's easier to show it. Okay so here I have my run cycle that I created in the previous video. If you go to scene settings there is the twin machine option there are three filter types, the first one is the previous or next one. Uh, you can create ease in or ease out, so for the current frame you can see if you go to the next it will move closer to the next frame. And if you are going to the other direction it will go closer to the previous. You can also do that to multiple frames, so for example there are three frames selected in the timeline and if you go to selected frames option then all three um, frames will be calculated. For the inverse and forward inertia it's useful to create overshoots I think. So if you go all the way forward as you can see it continues the previous line so there was this section and goes linearly towards that direction and now if you switch to and if you go inverse you can see that it continues along this line. The spline IK is just an experimental feature for now but it looks quite promising. The point of this tool is to make animating joint chains like for example tails much smoother. I created this incredible model in Blender with a couple of bones to simulate a tail. During rigging in Cascader I created three rigid bodies. To create spline IK you first need to finalize the rig and in point controller mode select the main points in the chain. Then switch to joint mode and select every bone between the first and the last point of the chain. Under object rig additional click on create spline IK and now you can easily control the chain using inverse kinematics. There are a lot of smaller improvements, for example now there is a composition overlay that you can toggle with the spiral icon, select a different type of composition to overlay on the viewport. When using quick rigging tool there is now a heel point which makes rotating the feet much easier. Direction controller is added for auto posing to make it more simple to pose the character. Mirror planes are displayed when you hover over them in the mirror tool. Fulcrum groups are added which is supposed to improve how the auto physics tool works. The performance of the auto physics tool was improved so hopefully it will be much more convenient to use the auto update mode with auto physics. Several bugs were fixed, for example ghosts in the previous version were covered by extra objects in the background. Now they are displayed in front of the objects but you need to set the object as a background element. For the next update they are planning to implement a loop animation support to make it easier to create cycles like walk and run cycles. Rigging mode, so during animation it will be possible to adjust the rig and then continue with the animation. Physical simulation of secondary body animation, which could be huge and I'm really looking forward to this feature. 
obviously these plans can change so keep an eye on their Trello board. If you haven't tried out the software yet, they also published a new tutorial on their uh, YouTube channel. I would start there and I also have a couple of tutorials that you can check out. Good luck!